All right, folks. God bless you guys. Welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Guys, I'm working diligently. <laughs> There's so much information. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a, a video tonight. It's leading up to... Uh, there's there's two videos that I have to deliver that are the ones I've been talking about. Someone was nice enough to give me a new computer. Well, it's it's their computer, and it's I haven't been able to get it set up to do everything I need to do yet. But um, I'm going to try and make it the delivery computer for these next two videos. I'm still having some problems with this. Anyway, so hopefully this all goes well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deliver right now a video that's going to help everybody, whether or not you're new, whether or not you've been here for 10 years. It doesn't matter. The video right now is going to help you understand everything. So imagine that you're in a world where everything you ever learned was just a lie, all of it, the whole thing. Everything you ever believed uh, was based on a lie. So, in order to undo that, it, it, it's not the, it's it's not that easy. There's only one way to do it, and that is to unconceal the truth that's been hidden to you. The only way to unconceal the truth that's been hidden to you is turn the world upside down because you were inverted when you came into the system. When you came into the system, you got inverted. You got inverted in a host body where there's a right side up you and an upside down you, and that is your prison. That's why Jesus said, unless your eyes be single, your whole body is full of light. Now, I'm just gonna state very plainly. So angels got led away captive into a system called the earth, into a system called the host body. And inside that host body that every one of us is in, there is a good you and there is a bad you and there's a double you. And you've got trapped inside of a host body. You live out your life not knowing any different. If you die in that condition, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you die in that condition and you haven't been converted, and the reason I turned my hand like that when I said converted, because it means if you haven't been turned up and your eyes have not become single and you have not been reconciled, that's why Jesus was crucified between two different guys. He was crucified between Desmus and Jesmus, and he reconciled the two halves into one. That's what it was a representation of. There is a good you and there is a bad you. And he's reconciling both through the cross back to himself. That's why the Bible says God was in Christ reconciling the world back to himself. Okay, now, let me show you just what a lie the Statue of Liberty was. Because the Statue of Liberty is really only about one thing. It's a statue to manifest the angels that were willing to take their liberty as angels to choose licentious freedom over legitimate freedom in Christ. So if you choose licentious freedom, which is what the Statue of Liberty stands for, and I'm going to show this all to you in the Bible. Everything I'm showing to you is in the Bible. Everything I'm telling you right now. So I'll give you all the scriptures, and then I'll show you the supernatural spiritual manifestation the Lord allows me to see. And I'll show it to you. Super easy. Hey, who likes Chinese food real quick? You got, or who likes? Who likes wearing it? I, I drew a cowboy. I drew a little cowboy wearing a hat, winking his eye. Kind of looks like a cowboy winking his eye, right? Sticking out his tongue. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Is that, is that, is that box of Chinese food, is that someone actually sticking out their tongue, winking their eye? Or is it just some innocuous thing of Chinese food that has an X where one eye would be closed, the other eye open, and the steam from the broth coming out is actually a nose? Or what is it? Is it a mouth with the tongue sticking out? 
Well, it says carry out, but look how they spelled Harry. Look how they spelled carry. K A R I. Carry out. I just want to show you the world that you don't see, and it's so obvious. Let me show you just real quick. Um, so let's see if you guys know about this. Most people wouldn't know, but this is called a Bagua mirror. Uh, and you'll see them over the, when you walk into, uh, Oriental food, Asian food restaurants, they'll have one right up. It's an octagon and it's got a convex mirror. So if you look in yourself in that mirror, you're upside down. So as you walk into these places, houses, other places, with an octagonal shaped convex mirror, it's supposed to grab the evil spirit you, the vampiric you. Let me show you. How to kill a Chinese vampire with a bagua mirror. It's kind of funny. They put the little cat with its mouth open, its arms up. But this is a bagua mirror. It's They call it a feng shui sometimes. Feng shui bagua. And so in the middle of that is, is a, is a con, convex mirror. And it, it's meant to, it's meant to, I'm not convex, concave. It's meant to grab the evil spirit as it wa walks in. Well, your reflection would be upside down in that. I've seen these at places I go pick up food to go. That's what brought it up. And then they gave me this box of to-go food. And that, by the way, is simply a face with its tongue sticking out. But it says carry out. Well, if I was to tear this box open, and remember the system is right side upside down, right side up, upside down. And if you were to go into the, a system and you were to choose that, you would really be choosing, be choosing self-destruction. So there's one right side up, there's one upside down, and then I'll go way back. And you can probably see pretty easily the mouth with the tongue sticking out right there. It says carry out. Huh. Um, and see, uh, you can just go read about it yourself, but it's meant to capture the, the evil you. Now remember, we're evil to them as well. So I'm going to just show you a quick thing before I do the Statue of Liberty stuff. One of the most well-known and commonly used of the Feng Shui cures for protection and remedies, Feng Shui Bagua Mirror, also called the Bakua Mirror, is a mirror designed with eight edges and Feng Shui trigrams that has special ability for protecting our home against negative, the negative, because there's a positive view and there's a negative view. It is used as excellent cures against bad energies, unfavorable for the home, and blah, 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 influences external and internal architecture. A good bag of mirror has an octagonal shape with eight edges. Each edge is decorated, blah, blah, blah. It has a round mirror in the center, and then towards the outer edge, the Feng Shui bag of mirror has a Lo Shu diagram, one of the symbols in the, one of, on each of the octagonal areas. I'm sorry. The mirror is designed to catch evil spirits. It is a concave mirror to absorb bad energies. So it's a mirror that has an upside down U in it is what it is. Okay, so let me ask you. Do you think that's really a face with its tongue sticking out? Or you just think they just decided we're just gonna we're just gonna make that and we'll put carry out on there. I wonder why they didn't just write carry out, you know, like C A R R Y, but they wrote carry out. Let's look up Harry Carry. Harry Carry, the definition of Harry Carry alternative for Harry Carry is a ritual suicide. So, it's a ritualistic form of suicide. Well, if you were to choose licentious freedom, it would be suicide. Remember I showed you no country for old men, and I broke it down for you. Remember when the, the bad guy's standing at the counter, and he's going to make the guy, you know, pick head, heads or tails. The good you, the bad you. You call it heads or tails. You remember that? 
when the guy go when he says do you live in that house out back and he goes well yeah i i married and he goes you married into it and the guy chokes on it. he's like he goes you mar you married into it and he goes well if you want to put it that way he goes there's no other way to put it cuz we married into it we we're willing to combine with this system into the flesh so anyway, you know, you can, I don't know, clicks crazy, or you can probably say, huh, I wonder if that's done with intent. Uh -huh. Carry out. I don't know, I see Miley Cyrus winking her eye a lot, sticking out her tongue, Barack Obama doing it, people winking at me, sticking out their tongue and drawing pictures of me with dead sheep. I don't know, just saying. So, let's move on. Harry, carry. Yeah, I wonder why they call it carry out. Probably nothing to see here. Anyway, so let's get back to uh, the Statue of Liberty. Let's not worry about there's an octagonal shape with a convex mirror. Concave, I'm sorry, concave. Concave mirror. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Okay, now let's talk about the Statue of Liberty for a second. So, I told y'all, if you have eyes to see, the Statue of Liberty is simply holding a penis. There you go. And there's a penis in her hand because the Statue of Liberty represents the liberty that the angels took to get stuck in a twin binary system. So, here she is standing in front of the twin system that she rules over and I when I mean she I mean the mother goddess that runs this place the whore mentioned in the Bible the whore of Babylon so now let me show you a little clip from a movie called Ghost Ghostbusters but by the way I, I want to thank uh, one of my subscribers put this uh, clip in there and I saw this a long time ago and I really meant to show it to y'all but I I get so much stuff it's just like you know, there's only so much stuff I can show you. So anyway, so thank you for posting that. So just as the Twin Towers represent the burning of one spirit, and so I'll take Cain and Abel and I'll put them right on the Twin Towers because that's what it represents. That's why Marina Abramovic has parties for spirit cooking. That's what the Twin Towers represents, spirit cooking. And the Statue of Liberty was the liberty, that's an outward manifestation of the liberty that the angels took to have sex with human women. That's what they, they're willing to do. Okay, so and that was the thing you are, that was unlawful. Now, let me show you uh, where this is going to go now. So, I want to make the last picture you see, very specific picture. Let's make this the last picture you see before I show you this clip. Now, all the energy that the system has used from those angels has gone to feed another race that's below ground, and that, that race below ground, that's locust from the pit, they are going to rise up out of the pit, and that, I'm, I want to choose my words very carefully, Black matter lives in the human host body system. The black matter lives now in a host body system because it's getting out of the pit and the black matter lives throughout the whole host body system. I did a video a while back. I went down to the place where I got saved. The Lord sent me down there and I walked the streets. Nudge, nudge. Okay. So... What was the way to accomplish to get that energy? Well, when the angels took the liberty to have sex with human women, they were willing to come into the system. They are born into a host body, and they are born into a duplicitous system, as represented by the Twin Towers. They burned down the Twin Towers because that raises saying, we've accomplished our goal, and we have gotten what we wanted, and so now we're moving into the final stage. Here's a Pink Floyd album called Wish You Were Here, and this is no different than the Twin Towers 
uh, one race of beings, demons burning up angels through the host body system, which you are here, and it's made manifest in the same thing as the uh, guy in the slave collar right here from the Vatican. There's a guy in the slave collar. There's a twin. There's a fetus here. There's another fetus over here, both umbilical cords to different sides of his head, giving two signals to your brain. That is the beast system. That's why this guy is wearing a slave collar that is a beast. Eye, eye, nose, fang, fang, open mouth. His slave collar is the beast system. He's caught in it. And when the, when the cycle has done its thing, that angel that got caught in a human host body beast system becomes a locust coming out of the pit. And there's the locust eye, eye, fangs, or I'm sorry, mandibles and the yellow wings. So, all right, now, again, let's make sure you have the right image in mind when we watch Ghostbusters. There you go, there you go. That, that would be the right image. Now, let's watch a scene from Ghostbusters. And remember that the energy that came from the angels that got caught in the system Via, well, how do, how do they come into the system? Well, when the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen, Genesis 1, verse 2. When the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen, those that were willing to, to do this come into the system. And they're born into host bodies. And then as they grow up and become adults and they procreate and have sex, and they're passing on energy that goes through them, and the form of sperm, a.k.a. the carrying medium of life going into another system. That's how that transfer of energy occurs. And those that are in the system that don't get redeemed, that energy, that soul goes to the pit to feed another race that will rise out of the pit. Now I'm going to show it to y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all won't believe what you're going to see. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Scene from Ghostbusters. Whether she's naked under that toga, she's French. You know, Smith, let's go, Bankman. Here's something off the request line from Liberty Island. We gotta squeeze some New Year's juice from you, Big Apple. Pause it right there for a second. Hang on one second. I want to try and catch this. I don't want to have to slow the reel down, but you know what? I will slow the. I'll slow the reel down. Let's get back to this. Just bear with me for one moment. Sorry about the volume. I don't want to have to try and move the whole scene to get to it. There you go. All right. Now, let's just talk about what you're looking at. Okay. You see right over here the uh, current that's flowing through there? You see the electrical current that's flowing through there? <clears throat> what they're saying is that the current, like that life force that's going through whatever medium that is that's filled up with the Statue of Liberty. She's going to break her leg chains because there's a chain on the Statue of Liberty and the chain's going to be broke. And the Statue of Liberty in this clip is going to walk through the New York City to gather everybody to get positive energy to beat all the ghosts that are coming up. Um, what this really is, is this is a manifestation of the angel of the bottomless pit showing that all the angels that took the liberty to have sex with human women 
and the Statue of Liberty is filled with semen, and that energy is the medium through which the Sitra Akra, the other side, is rising up out of the pit because the medium it needed, it has successfully gotten through the host body system in the form of semen. It's the way the energy is transferred. Let me go ahead and fix that now. Sorry about that. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this thing just right. Okay, there we go. Thanks for bearing with me. All right, so again, <clears throat> let's go back to the Citra Akra Kelepot. Now, what's really important is to understand some stuff about the Statue of Liberty. <clears throat> Let me show you what a hindecogram is real quick so you understand. Okay, so a hindecogram is a star polygon that has 11 vertices. If you look under hindecogram right here, you'll see that it even shows you that the Statue of Liberty is on top of a hindecogram. A hindecogram is called a kelepot in Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology. And the kelepot, I'm going to read to you what it is. Here it is, kelepot. Okay. Uh, the kelepot, um, are literally peels, shells, or husks. It's a host body system is what it is. It's a peel, which is your body. It's a shell, which is your body. It's a husk, which is your body. They are representations of evil or impure spiritual forces in Jewish mysticism. The polar opposite, so the host body is the opposite of the holy Sephirot. Okay. The realm of this, the realm of evil is known as the Sitra Akra, the other side, opposite holiness. And the 11 pointed star that the St Statue of Liberty sits on is a representation of the host body that we're all trapped in, that the angels took the liberty to take on those bodies, but they were carried away captive now into Babylon. And the word Babylon means confusion and mixed race. That's what Babylon means. I'll show it to you. Okay, so here you go in Jeremiah 29, Jeremiah's letter to the exiles, which represents, by the way, you know, back in biblical times, it was those that were carried away exiled from Jerusalem to Babylon. Um, well, it's a, it's metaphorical also for those of us angels that were carried away and we were exiled from Jerusalem, the Jerusalem to, to um, Babylon here in, here in, here in the world, the world system, the Babylon system, mystery Babylon. So we were carried away captive and look what the word carried away captive means. It means exile. Okay. Do y'all know that the Statue of Liberty is called the mother of exiles? It means to denude, to make naked, you know, like the Garden of Eden, to denude, to make naked, by implication, to exiles, captives as being stripped, to reveal, to reveal, and to be stripped bare before the Lord. So, angels that were carried away captive. The Statue of Liberty is a big statue that represents the angels that got carried away captive to Babylon, land of confusion, mixed race. Watch, I'll show you. Babylon, confusion, okay? And it means to mix, to mingle self, to mix self. Okay, think about what you're looking at right now think about what you're looking at to mingle self to mix self and think of the picture i showed you before i started playing this clip Island. we gotta squeeze some new year's juice from you we have to squeeze some new year's juice from you big apple now, again, I told you I'm showing you this to get you ready for the other two videos that I have to do. 
the last video I'll be doing on, you know, that I've been trying to get y'all ready for and get myself ready for, by the way, is a Genesis 1 video that will change the world forever. Forever. The video that is leading up to the Genesis 1 video is, it, it's so much data that you have to have it. Because when I get to the Genesis 1 video, the the video that will be before it will answer all the questions you would have if I just did the Genesis 1 video. You would be like, well, what about this and what about this? The Lord, knowing how he was going to roll it out for me, has been feeding me so much data, you guys. I almost can't handle it. I'm not joking. It's <laughs> It's just overwhelming. Okay, well, look at what you're looking at right now. Okay, I, and I'm just getting started. We, we have so much supernatural revelation right now on this video right now. Y'all are gonna, y'all are just gonna flip. You're not gonna believe it. Okay, so here they are. We're gonna squeeze, we need to squeeze some New York, we need to squeeze some juice out of you, New York. Let, let's hear it again one more time. We gotta squeeze some New Year's juice from you, Big Apple. We have to squeeze some New Year's juice out of you, Big Apple. Also, Apple representing to, you know, like the fall, which we all know wasn't an apple. Okay, so your love is lifting me higher. Okay, so then the Statue of Liberty breaks free. I don't want to sit there and play it all, but let's just kind of fast forward it. Now all that energy is going up. You see it? It's all going up the posts. All that electricity is running up the posts. It's rising. So all the electricity is rising up through the Statue of Liberty because don't forget the Statue of Liberty represents the liberty that the angels took because the angels have the the we're, the glorious liberty, the children of God, to choose licentious or legitimate freedom. I'll show it to you in the Bible. Just a minute. So now all the energy that's been collected over the span of the earth is rising up through the Statue of Liberty and the pit's going to open. That's why in this movie they're playing Your Love is Lifting Me Higher. Now, I'm going to jump to Angela Jolu or whatever her name is. I'm not very good at remembering her name. Kind of escapes me sometimes. Okay, we'll get back to that in just a moment. Let me get to this real quick. Let me just pop this open real quick. Okay, so I want to play this for you. This was a Google Doodle one day. And uh, let me just run this by you guys real quick. Still I rise. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll rise. Like dust, huh? Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Just because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Now that was, that was done by Alicia Keys. I'll just lower this so you can see down at the bottom. See Alicia Keys right there. That's who read that segment. Um... Let me just show you a quick, uh, just little, like, me. let me show you just a quick thing about Alicia Keys, because I think it's important that, you know, the people that are reading this, also fit the paradigm. Let's see. Okay, so let's look at this, Alicia Keys. See the, the A and the K? What do you notice about them? It's the exact system I tell you about. See, it's an A, and the K is really just the inverted A. 
and they put the little leg off and it also makes a lightning bolt like a bolt of lightning girl on fire so the symbology gives alicia keys away you see it okay let's go back moons and like suns with the certainty of tides just like hopes springing high still i rise did you want to see me broken bowed head and lowered eyes shoulders falling down like teardrops weak look at how they did this picture this is like dark matter lives and by my soulful cries i just want to point something out to you guys the imagery also gives it away the raindrops hitting the dark matter is no different than the statue of liberty you'll know that in just a moment watch does my haughtiness offend you don't take it awful hard just because i laugh as if i've got gold mines digging in my own backyard i'm going to just point out the s here look at the s look at the s here you may shoot me with your words you may cut me with your eyes you may kill me with your hatefulness but still like light i'll rise does my sexiness upset you does it come as a surprise that i dance as if i have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs okay well i don't know what really that really means about why would someone I, I don't know why someone would uh have that as their poem but let's hear it again out of the huts of history hang on one sec okay let's hear that one more time a diamond at the meeting of my thigh does my haughtiness upset you or does it l l let's hear the whole thing i'm sorry uh i just want to also apologize i'm having a little trouble with uh being able to see my my lines here so it's it's making it a little difficult for me so i'll i'll try and just pause and then restart it here we go does my sexiness upset you does it come as a surprise that i dance as if i have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs okay i do know some one person though that that uh that really makes a uh, point there's debbie harry holding a heart in her hand she's cut out the heart of her own twin and she has diamonds at the meeting of her thighs right here so here's debbie harry holding a heart in her hand out of a cake that's a twin of herself twin towers statue of liberty got the angels in a twin system that they're burning up and they're just destroying the good twin inside the host body system. That's what all this is. That's what the Statue of Liberty is. Why do you think they burned it down on 9-11? They destroyed it on 9-11. 9-11 is Revelation 9-11. They had a king over them. Who? The locust from the pit. They had a king over them. The angel of the bottomless pit. That's Revelation 9-11. I mean, this is just not arguable. There's Debbie Harry. She's got a heart. She's got a twin. It's naked and she's cut her heart out. And there's diamonds at the meeting of her thighs. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance as if I have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history, shame, I rise. Up from a past, rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind. I'm going to pause this. Every one of these is, I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every one of these is a star of Lucifer, every single one. Behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak miraculously clear. I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave.
I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so I rise, I rise, I rise. One, two, three, Abaddon of the bottomless pit. That's why they did it three times. I rise, I rise, I rise. Number three, angel of the bottomless pit. And it's no different than this. Let's go ahead and watch this. Let's see if I can stretch this. So remember, what's the song playing here? Your love is lifting me higher. Lifting me higher. Same as I rise. And the energy is rising up through the medium that's inside the Statue of Liberty, which is a white, gooey substance. Let's get to the part where she's walking through the city without having to do too much other stuff. Let's see. Here she comes around in the corner. Here you're going to see the telegraphing, even in this movie, of destroying the way society is turning against lawfulness because the Antichrist is the lawless one. Now watch this. Just watch what happens here. He said, you should have padded her feet. Can't she go any faster? He goes, you should have padded her feet. They don't, I don't think they make Nike in her size. Nike, the goddess of victory. Probably nothing to see here. Oh, don't worry, she's tough. She's a harbor chick. She's tough. She's a harbor chick. She crushes the police car. But let me show you what's right there in your face. See the name Fred? 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 She's tough. She's a harbor chick. Fred. It's got several meanings. It's, uh, it's derived from Germanic words Fried or Peace and Rick, meaning ruler or power. So peaceful ruler is what Fred means. And so let's see what the Statue of Liberty is doing. Crushing the peaceful ruler while it cut, crushes a police car, which is what's going on in society now. Defund the police. Peaceful rule is over. The Statue of Liberty's representation of the pit rising up out and all that evil coming up out of the pit. That's what you're looking at. Watch. There you go. Now, I'm going to show you some more stuff. A lot of people don't know that all every all the stuff that all the height the height of the statue. Let me just show it to you. Instead of just talk about, let me just show it to you. A twin system was their game. Get the angels trapped in a twin system. Cain and Abel. Cannibal. Let me show you some fun Statue of Liberty facts. The height of the copper statue is 151 feet. 
151, uh, 305 feet, 111 feet. Uh, here we go. So watch this. Let's just do them in order. 151. Let's see. I'll just do them in front of you. Let's just take this down. Strong's 151. Strong's 151 is obscenity, baseness, filthiness, because the host body is that. Now, just keep watching. I know some people might be like, well, wait a minute. Just watch. Um, 305, Strong's 305, because see, we are filthy to God because of the host body system that we got caught in. 305, watch. I go up, ascend, I rise, there you go. 305, I rise, ascending. Ascending, to go up, to climb up, to rise. What do you think is going on in the Statue of Liberty? Sorry, here we go. So all the sexual intercourse and fornication and all that through the history of the whole world and all the energy that got taken and sent to the pit is allowing the dark matter to rise out of the pit. Even the height of the Statue of Liberty means to rise. To go up, to ascend. I go up, I mount, I ascend of things. It even says, I rise. Just like Angela Jolu or whatever her name is. I'm sorry, I don't really remember her last name. Um, let's see, other facts. From the heel to the top of the head. So the, the thing that angels aren't allowed, you have, you have freedom and you have freedom to choose an angel. But the thing that if you choose it, if you choose licentious freedom, then you're subject to death. That's why it says in the Revelation 3, I mean in, in Genesis 3, you the serpent said, you surely won't die. You'll be like God's and your eyes will be opened and you'll be like God's and you won't die. 111. Strong's 111. Sorry guys, I'm I'm wiped out today. I'm pretty tired, but I wanted to get this video out. Lawless, lawless, illegal, unlawful. That is the the heel to the top of the head. So, so from the foundation of the pedestal to ground level to the tip of the torch, three hundred five. I rise. Heel to the top of the head, 111. Unlawful, criminal. The height of the pedestal. Uh, the width of the mouth, 3. Abran, angel of the bottomless pit. Height of the pedestal, 89 feet. Let's see. It's incessantly. I saw it in Taylor Swift's video. 89 was in Taylor Swift's video as well, incessantly, without remission, because they are always moving towards the opening of the pit from the beginning of the world to the end of the world. The Statue of Liberty represents from the beginning to the end. Now let me go to the Bible for you guys. Okay, so, let's see here. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm, I'm really, I've really super wiped out, but I wanted to get this out today. Here we go. 
And you shall know the truth. The truth. See the word truth? The word is aletheia. Aletheia. It, it's truth, but it means the truth as in not concealing. Because in this system, when you get put into the system as an angel and you're inverted, the truth is concealed from you. The only way to see the truth is to turn things up. And then you can see the truth and then your eyes have become single. It's so obvious now. Okay. You will know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Let me show you what the word free is. Eleuthero. See it? Eleuthero. To exempt. To make exempt from moral, ceremonial, or mortal liability. So if you know the truth, you're no longer... Being a mortal is no longer a lot. You're exempt from mortal liability because you're immortal because you die now. So if you, if you know the truth and the truth is concealed and all you have to do to see the truth is turn everything up. So you just invert it like I invert an image of the virgin and it's a dead sheep. So I saw the truth. You'll know the truth and the truth will make you Eleuthero. Free from mortal liability. What's the liability of being mortal? You die. So when you get set free, you no longer have to worry about being immortal because it's not a liability anymore. You get set free from that. Now, let me show you this. Back to this. Okay, so let's go to E sword. Let's go to Romans 8. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature, original formation. Remember, like Adidas original? Remember Adidas original, where they're all hanging upside down? You know that. We did it our way commercial by Adidas where they're all hanging upside down and it ends with Kendall Jenner in a, in a tube. Remember that the original formation, the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope because the creature itself shall be delivered. Look, Eleuthero. So the creature, which is us, all of us that are in those bodies, shall be delivered, Eleuthero, to liberate, to exempt from moral, ceremonial, or mortal liability, to make free. So the creature shall be delivered from the bondage, slavery, of corruption, decay, that is ruin, destroy, and perish. From the bondage of ruin and decay, you know, aging, into the glorious, glory as very apparent, the glorious liberty of the children of God. Now, I want to show you something. You see the word delivered? The creature shall be delivered. 1659, Eleuthero shall be delivered. From mortal liability into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Look at the word liberty. It's 1657 and it's Eleuthera, which means freedom, legitimate or licentious freedom. You can choose the Statue of Liberty, Licentious, that's why it's full of semen in that video, and then you get trapped in a host body system, and you have to be redeemed or you go to hell. So you can choose as an angel, but if you choose Licentious, you sin against the Most High. It's called free will. Now the Lord God has let me understand free will and what it's all about. And it has to be redeemed because free will always leads to what's happening now. 
uh, angels that leave and take the bait and go into a world and live out a life and they die without being redeemed and they go to the pit and then the pit rises out of the pit and takes over that system by the use of all the angels' energy that it took to open the pit and to feed the race that's coming out. Now, the night I got saved, for those of y'all that have seen my testimony, thank God he had me put it on YouTube. I didn't want to do it. I knew I was going to take so much heat for it. I told everybody I was with my girlfriend. I hadn't married her yet. We were at uh, the St. Anthony Hotel, and her name's Eleuthera. Eleuthera. Oh, just like the word in the Bible that says legitimate or licentious freedom. I told everybody I stood at a door. The Holy Spirit led me through the hotel to a door in the back of the hotel, and I was faced with a choice. If I opened the door, I would more than likely be killed in that alley because the guys that I was in a high-speed chase with that day were parked at the end of the hotel because I saw them through the third story uh, uh, window in the stairwell. The Lord told me, look out the window on the third store. And I looked down and there were the very guys I was in a high speed chase with that day. And these guys meant business. It was, it was no joke. And so I knew if I opened that door, uh, the alarm would sound because it said if door opens, alarm will sound. And if I go out that door, more than likely I would, the door would shut or, these guys would be alerted and I would have to deal with these guys and I would be boxed in an alley and if they had guns, I'd probably be dead because I'd already been in two high-speed chases with these guys. So, I had Eleuthera grabbing my arm saying, don't open the door! And I'm saying, Lord, tell me what to do. Open the door, Jonathan. And Eleuthera, licentious freedom, saying, don't open the door. And I'm saying, Lord, tell me what you do. Open the door, Jonathan. And I say, he's saying, open the door. And licentious freedom, saying, don't open the door. Because my girlfriend was licentious freedom. Let me show you. This is a photo during the time uh, she and I were dating. We got married. And so that was her, and this was one of our ads we did for Vampire Sunglasses, and I was marketing to a company called Gateway Safety. I wonder what the odds are that the their Gateway Safety logo is right side up, upside down, like almost like scorpion stingers. And there's my girlfriend, and there it says, Rise with the S-O-N, because I use the O like that to represent the sun that rises, you know, in the morning instead of S-U-N, but also like the Son of God. Rise with the S-O-N with the mirror reflection in the water. So I had licentious freedom telling me, don't open the door, Jonathan. And I had the Lord God saying, open the door. And I did. I opened the door. I was willing to leave licentious freedom and to know the truth, 100% nylon, turn it upside down, Jonathan. I was willing to follow that spirit out the door to that hotel, knowing that I would probably die. And I did. I died to myself. And I got saved. Wow. You couldn't even think this story up. <laughs> no one could even think this up. So, yep, Lucentia's Freedom was saying, don't open the door. And the Lord God was saying, Jonathan, open the door. And the creature itself shall be delivered, delivered Eleuthero from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty. Eleuthera, legitimate or licentious freedom of the children, the child as produced of God. And the word child means vindication. That is, we've been vindicated from our punishment and to the children of God. So now everything I've told you is true, and I just proved it by the Bible. My testimony is true. Everything I've told you has been proven out right in front of you. So all you haters and all you guys that like to leave your stupid comments, guess what? Y'all are done. What y'all have to look forward to is the eternal pit. And I'm sorry, but I'm kind of burnt out on all y'all's hatred. Because you reap what you sow. What I'm doing is I'm trying to give my life away 
to help everybody else get the hell out of here. That's what I'm doing. And what the, the, the really uh, twisted, weird people that think they're righteous are coming to my channel leaving comments about my past life like I could give a rip. That's why you have to be saved, geniuses. It's like, dude, no kidding. We were all something before we got saved. I could care less about my past life and what I did. I've been very open and honest about it. But now everything I said about my testimony just proved out biblically. Just stop and think about that. Who has a girlfriend named Eleuther? I have skydiving videos of me skydiving while she's doing a tandem while I have fangs on, while she has fangs on flying up and kissing her while I'm falling out of the sky. I wonder how many people have something like that. And the point I'm trying to make is that's just a simple, obvious representation of me falling as an angel. Yes, I'm a fallen angel. I'm an exiled angel. I'm exiled here in Babylon. And I've been redeemed. What does everybody think redeemed means? It means an angel that got redeemed. You can't redeem somebody without having known them before. So how did you, so who's getting redeemed? If you're made in the image of God, why do you need to be redeemed? I mean, if you're made in the image of God, you should be just fine. Because we're a bunch of angels that took the bait. That's why. And that's why they hate me so much. Because I know the truth as in not concealing. Wow, there's a lot of people in some serious trouble. And y'all know who you are. Because I just proved it. And the truth is, I really don't take any pleasure in it. But you know what? I'm sick of it. I can't stand bullies. And y'all got it coming. That's all there is to it. So there it is. The creature itself shall be delivered. Eleuthero to liberate from mortal liability. And from the bondage, the slavery of corruption, ruin, that is because you're in a host body, and to the glorious liberty, Eleuthera, freedom, legitimate or licentious, of the children of God. Now, remember, so you go back, you get back to having a lot of people ask me this question, well, what if you choose, choose it again? It's a good question. I actually had the Lord show me the answer, but I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, so here we go. Now, again, all these numbers associated with the Statue of Liberty, all the numbers associated with it, prove out to be no different than iRobot. Let me show you some more pictures. Libertas. Libertas is the Roman goddess and the personification of liberty. Watch this. Ready? Libertas. Libertas is the Roman goddess and the personification of liberty. There. Look when I click on personification of liberty. The Greek equivalent of the goddess Libertas is Eleutheria, the personification of of liberty, a.k.a. the Statue of Liberty. The personification of liberty, licentious freedom. I showed you the pictures, right? So, this is merely paving the way for you now to be able to receive so much supernatural data. 
I mean, like this wasn't supernatural data. This is all supernatural. All of it. All of it's supernatural. Me getting saved, the night I got saved, what happened the night I got saved, the name of my girlfriend, my name, what I used to do before I got saved, falling out of the sky upside down with fangs on, Cain and Abel, Cain, cannibal, falling out of the sky, kissing a girl with fangs in the sky while you're falling. No, I'm sorry, that just doesn't happen. These are just facts. As a matter of fact, I'll get that video and I'll play it for you. Not now, but I'll play it for you. Because it's impossible. It's all impossible. So now the Lord is using me to roll out the end of the data. And the end of the data is so staggering that I had to live a life that was this crazy just to be able to deal with what he's rolling out now because it's that over the top. It's so over the top that most people won't be able to handle it. I'm just going to be blunt. Mo I had some friends come in this weekend a friend of mine that got saved recently in, in a very supernatural, supernatural setting, very supernatural way. Not just, I, I mean, I, a friend of mine that got saved not too long ago, and uh, it was a predestined arrangement that the Lord put in my life. And uh, when I produced some of the data to him this weekend, he, the look on his face was just like, and, you know, sometimes I kind of crack up because I see the wheels turning and I know how hard it is to process this kind of data. What you're seeing is nothing compared to what you're about to see. And look what you just saw. You saw the Statue of Liberty and the Ghostbusters full of semen with electricity running up out of the pit, showing that she's going to break her chains and she's going to crush the peaceful ruler and crush the police and lawlessness is going to bound. That's what that was in the Ghostbusters. That's what it was. And now it's starting to happen right now. That's because Black Matter lives. It's coming up out of the pit. All right, guys, I'm going to just leave it at that. I could go on for another hour with, let me show you a folder you should really get. Let's see. Uh, I think. Here we go. Here's a folder you should really grab. It's in the old platform, the Citra Acra Kelepot Host Body Transmutation Statue of Eleutheria. You can go through this. You should look at these links. You should go look at this stuff and just go through here and look at the treasure that I put in here for you. This is pure gold, solid platinum. And the Lord has used me to just document this stuff and to put it in a folder for you. And it's sitting there just waiting for you. So anyway, and you can go look at it yourself and go through these images yourself because I'm so super busy. It's literally crazy how busy I am. Okay, sorry guys. I'm super wiped out today. I really want, but I didn't want to go to bed and not get this video out. The video that's the precursor to the Genesis 1 video, right now I'm organizing. I've been working on it. And the data is staggering. And then Genesis 1 is... Hand me the steak. Put the steak on the vampire's chest. Hand me the, give me the club. Here, you know what? Stay there. Okay, so now let's just have a little fun for just a minute. I've been working so diligently on all this information. It's overloading me. It's, it's, I mean, I just, it's hard to describe. Anyway, without going too much about that. So I'm trying to kind of, just, just lighten it up a little bit. So I made this intro with Dave because this is what's coming. The Genesis 1 video, because we're in a vampiric system. I'm literally hunting the main vampire. That's what I'm doing. It's a ghost. I've been hunting a ghost. And now I've caught the ghost. I know where the ghost is. I've got the ghost lair. I know what the ghost did. I know what his motive was. I know how he did it, I know the system in which he used to do it, and I can prove it. Absolutely prove it. So, I have my stake, I have my hammer, I'm just going to walk in there and put it in and right in his chest. And so, 
This is kind of a cool representation of what I get to do. Isn't it odd I used to have vampire sunglasses, Vlad eyewear? I mean, you know, you couldn't even think this stuff up. You couldn't even think this up. It's just insane. It's just so crazy. It's like, okay, here we go. You ready? This will be fun. Yeah, so there you go. So that's what I'm doing. I'm hunting the head vampire. That's what I'm doing. And he is uh, the angel of the mommless pit. He got a bunch of angels caught in a twin system. That's why there's a two towers called the Twin Towers. That's why the Rockefellers bought the land. They served eminent domain on all the businesses. They condemned those those businesses. They bought the land. They built the Twin Towers. And you could watch the Twin Towers burn under the Arch of Washington, which was a replica of the Arch of Titus, which was built by the Romans to commemorate Titus destroying the temple in Jerusalem in 70 AD. The Twin Towers just happened to burn right in the if you were standing there you could look right in the center of that arch and watch the twin system burn because it represents destroying the temple the destruction of the temple which was mentioned in matthew 24. so the information and the knowledge that the lord's given me is so beyond supernatural it's 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 just mind-boggling and so i can show you the system now all day long That's a face with the tongue sticking out. I love you in Christ. If you don't see it, I'm sorry, but that's what it is. Carry out, because we got carried out away. We got carried away into a suicidal system. We self-cannibalize. You ever hear people go, ooh, yum, yum, right? Ever hear that? 
You know what Yum Yum is? It's a cannibal. Go look it up. Type it in. Yum Yum means cannibal. Yeah, means cannibal. Here you feed your little baby. Oh, Yum Yum. Yeah, yeah, means cannibal. So anyway, I'm kind of burnt out on their stuff. <laughs> I'm so ready to just give me the steak. <laughs> Lift the lid. Give me the, give me the, yeah. let's do this. <laughs> anyway, and so the information, the truth is the way you kill the lie. That's the way you do it. And so now, like I said, I'm going to deliver the precursor to the Genesis 1. And as soon as the Lord cuts me loose and I have enough time to do it, remember, he's in complete control, right? He's in complete control. And guys, I don't know where my bear is. I've been doing, I've been so crazy busy. Let me go find him because I think we all need a group hug right now. And, I'm, and I, again, I apologize. I'm like, so, uh, I'm, just, I'm just wet. I'm so tired, you guys. But I did not want to go to bed and not at least get this video out. Because y'all knowing this, y'all knowing that what the Statue of Liberty really is, when you know what it really is, and she's standing on top of a kelepot, and a kelepot represents a host body, and inside the middle of a kelepot is what's called a transmutation circle. And I didn't even go over that tonight. I did another video where I did all of that. Maybe I'll ref do a little refresher on what a transmutation circle is. You know, when you get an angel caught in the kelepot, they literally have... Uh, alchemistic methodology in which they transform an angel by turning it upside down to a locust. That's what this is all about. Yep. Okay. Let me go find my bear. Okay. Yay. <laughs> this is you. I got great news, guys. Tim's out of the hospital. It looked so bad. It, it was a miracle. Uh, he... He was in such a bad way. For him to have lived is just the most unbelievable miracle. The Lord God answered my prayers. I actually, I don't really make deals with the Lord because I know he doesn't do deals. But I said, you know, I need you to please, please, please do this for me. And uh, so anyway, I love you guys. And thank you for praying for Tim. Super hug. Yeah, I just need a good hug. Nice long hug. All right, guys. I love you guys. I'm sorry I'm so whipped tonight. I'm just, but just, you know, just think about what you're looking at. Just think about the Statue of Liberty. Think about the height and all that. It means to rise and lawlessness and, you know, wick. I mean, think about that. Because taking on a host body, the Bible says this, the the flesh the flesh is in opposition to the spirit. Opposition means opposite position to the spirit of God. The flesh is opposed to it. It hates the spirit of God. And so, you know, it's it's just so obvious now. And look at look at my testimony. Oh, I actually had a girlfriend named Eleuthera. The night I got saved. Eleuthera is trying to stop me from going out the door where the Spirit is leading me, knowing that if I open that door, I'm going to probably die. And I was willing. I was like, I don't care, man. I'll go out the door and die. I want to know the truth. And the Spirit was leading me. And I was like, I'd rather know the truth than die than stay here. That's what I was willing to do. Anyway, all right, guys. I love you guys. Another hug. Second hug. Thanks for the letters. Thanks for the support. Thanks for everything. I love you guys. Thanks for the cards. I like reading them. All right, guys. I'm going to go hit it. I'm going to go lay down. Johnny is wet. All right. And I still got a ton of work. I was like, dang. I got a ton of work and I got a lot of data. Give me guys. It's like, hey. Yeah. Y'all want to hear something really funny? Let's see if it'll do it. I don't know if I have it. You know what? I'll save it. I'll save it for, uh, well, let me just, you know.
know what? I'll save it. It's super funny. I'm not. I'm not spiffy enough. I'm not in a. I'm not in a peppy enough mood tonight to deliver something that's just absolutely hysterical. All right, I love you guys. Peace and grace, and uh, I'll see you really, really soon. I hope, hopefully, in the next couple days, uh, I can get the precursor video out um, to the Genesis one, and I'm hoping I can do it within two to three days. I'm gonna try and get this other. Someone sent me a really awesome laptop. And uh, if I can get that thing just up and running and ready and get all my files over there, then I can hopefully just not have to worry about computer issues when I'm doing these videos because this is the computer I'm doing them on. And my other three computers just bombing on me. And this one started bombing on me tonight. So it's like, no. So anyway, here we go. All right, love you guys.